Hey guys, in this video we have a work from home company hiring urgently right now for a lot of remote jobs in different parts of the world. And some of them don't actually require experience, pay around $22 an hour all the way up to as much as $60 per hour in some cases. So this company is called chainlinklabs.com. This is a blockchain company. So they are obviously going with the new trend of blockchain tre technology, cryptocurrencies, things like that. And Chainlink has a lot of open roles right now. All you gotta do is go to chainlinklabs.com and you see open roles right here at the top right. And you'll see all sorts of different types of roles that they have available. Notice on the right side how it'll say remote. And pretty much all of these are remote and mostly full-time positions as well. So when you go to their jobs.lever.co page, they tell you more about you know locations and things like that. But one of the easiest ones they have available right now is the administrative assistant. So the administrative assistant is actually United States remote. And they say full-time remote and all of that. But for this one, they also tell you right here, all roles with Chainlink Labs are global and remote based. Unless otherwise stated, we ask that you try to overlap some working hours with Eastern Standard Time. We encourage you to apply regardless of your location. So you might actually be able to still apply for this even if it's not in the United States. It looks like the way they word this, now obviously I don't know for sure, but the way they word this, it seems like when they say a country next to remote, it doesn't mean necessarily you have to live in that country. It just means you need to work based on that time zone. So maybe you're kind of being assigned a region of the world and you need to be able to work that certain time zone for this particular position, but you may not actually have to live there. So the way they word this, again, that you can kind of make your own assumptions here of what you think this means. But as far as the way I think it translates I, it seems like you might be able to still apply from around the world for this position and pretty much any other position that you find here so about the role the administrative assistant plays a crucial role in providing comprehensive administrative support to executive assistants this position requires a highly collaborative and detail-oriented individual who can adapt to a dynamic global work environment the ideal candidate should be responsive, discreet, and have a strong desire to grow into an executive assistant role with coaching and experience. So this actually has some growth potential with it. It can go up to an executive assistant later on. Objectives for this role are to collaborate with the lead EA to ensure seamless administrative support, act as a backup resource during executive assistance out of office periods, develop skills and capabilities to transition into an EA role in the future, maintain discretion and security awareness and handling sensitive information, as well as assist in various tasks, including event planning, calendar management, research, and project tracking. So skills and qualifications for this job, positive team focus mentality with a high level of collaboration, 24 seven mindset to support a multi time zone and global setting, can do attitude, eagerness to learn, strong attention to detail and accuracy, discretion and good judgment, excellent verbal and written communication, effective self-management, time management, and organization. So these are the things that are absolutely required, but it's mostly stuff that has to do with your mentality, who you are as a person, how you handle things. Are you multitasker? Are you responsible? Stuff like that. Then we have preferred qualifications. And if you know by seeing different job application pages, you know that preferred qualifications are Again, they are exactly as stated. They're preferred, not necessarily required. So obviously, any company that does not require experience would probably prefer experience. But with this one, they prefer experience in a customer-facing role, event planning experience, or involvement in event logistics, one to two years of experience in a role involving planning and organizing, and demonstrate ability to work well in a team and lead by example. So preferred qualifications here, that kind of sums it up. And as far as just a great work from home job that doesn't require experience, doesn't seem to require a degree, and seems to be fairly flexible as far as location, I think that's a great one right there. Now, how much an administrative assistant usually makes is around 47,000 a year if you're working full time, which is what this, what this job is supposed to be. So that would equate to around $22 per hour if you are an administrative assistant. That's just on average. Now, 
I said this company is urgently hiring because they are. They're hiring for a lot of jobs remotely. And they say, you know, around the world and in different categories, they have all sorts of different levels of jobs here. So if you're looking for a remote job, even if you don't have interest in the administrative assistant, you could still look and probably find something that may interest you right now at Chainlink Labs. And this is a company that should be on the rise. They're with the rising trend of blockchain technology, cryptocurrency, and all of that. Now, they also have like a research internship. For instance, if you are inexperienced, but you're, you're like in college and you are working on computer science or an equivalent professional experience and algorithms, data structures, and discrete math. So that's another thing you could do. If you don't have a lot of experience um, and you have a degree or you're working on a degree, so you have some research related jobs, you have some security jobs, you have a lot of product related, jo related jobs like a developer advocate, product designer, technical program manager, data feeds, etc. Operations, business operations associate, business operations senior manager. So you have a lot of different jobs here as well. So you say like, let's say you're interested in business operations associate, you know, this one, they want you to have bachelor's degree, one to two years experience, not too bad. And they tell you right here, they want you to work Eastern Standard Time, but you can still apply from pretty much anywhere. They have that same message on a lot of these jobs. You have a community manager in a few parts of the world, if you're interested in that. You have all sorts of different types of jobs available. And one that they have the most for is probably engineering. They have a ton of engineering jobs if you know how to code. So as far as working from home here, uh, salary wise, you can kind of scroll through and look at the salary based on what job you're interested in. And you can look at hourly pay just to kind of make it easier to break down. All right, how much am I making, you know, on it per hour basis? Software engineering, they have a lot of stuff like that that pays around $68 an hour on average, according to reviews. Product manager, you have all sorts of different types of jobs. Executive assistant, here's one that could, you would actually work your way up to a 40, potentially $41 per hour if you actually stick with the job going from this administrative assistant and working your way up to an executive assistant, which again is what gets paid, again, on average, around $41 per hour according to this person. So you could be working your way up to a pretty high paying job while starting out with no experience and turn this into a really solid career. Now, review wise, Chainlink Labs has 38 reviews so far and a 4.7 out of five star rating, 85% would recommend working here to a friend, which is very, very good in terms of ratings. Benefit wise, they have 14 ratings so far. They have an overall rating of five out of 10 ratings. So five stars out of five and they've had 10 ratings. They don't mention a lot that I've seen on their benefits. So they say 100% paid health insurance, you know, top of the line great benefits, work from home, flexible vacation, company rest weeks, no 401k match. So you can kind of go on here and see kind of what they do and do not offer based on people who work here. Interview wise, three out of five difficulty isn't bad. And then um, it's pretty split between positive and negative, you know? Now, if this was like majority positive, like over 50 or 60%, you might be a little more concerned, but I'd say that's fairly close to standard right there. So in terms of the interview process, not too bad either. Hopefully this was helpful. Don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell if you want more daily work from home opportunities like these. Let me know in the comments what you would like me to find for you if you're looking for a way to work from home and make money online. And I'll see you in the next video.